Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel Outspoken Artistry. I'm so happy you guys have decided to tune in again to another one of my audio videos and today I'm going to be talking to you guys about something that has personally made me very happy as well as other fans back home in Puerto Rico and it's the return of K-pop on local radio stations in Puerto Rico and I say it's the return because believe it or not we used to have um, K-pop being played on you know local radio stations back home um, a couple of years ago, but suddenly, um, approximately around, I don't know, like 2013, 2014, that all stopped, and it wasn't until this year that K-pop um, returned to uh, Puerto Rico's local radio stations. So yeah, I just wanted to make this video to talk to you all about, you know, how it all started, and how it came to be that K-pop is being played again now in 2018. So yeah, without further ado, Let's get into how K-pop is returning to Puerto Rico's radio stations um, in 2018. Okay, so it all started back in September 2011. I think it was the 1st or the 11th. Um, I'll leave that information in the description box. But yeah, it all started in September 2011 with the very first K-pop song being um, broadcasted on a local uh, radio station in Puerto Rico named Hot 102.5 and the very first song was by one of my favorite ultimate favorite groups Big Bang with their song Tonight and after that song was played many more songs from a variety of artists were played as well regularly for a couple of years and also not only from k-pop artists but we had solo artists and also um ost songs from various um k-dramas so for example we had obviously big bang b184 shiny you kiss jyj 21 super junior wonder girls TVXQ, and uh, we also had Jay Park, and also as for OSTs, okay, so you guys, I hope you guys know what I'm going to talk about, but there's this drama called You're Beautiful, um, it's starring Park Shinye and also Jang Yoon Suk, and um, they had a band, it was called Angel, written A dot n dot j e l l and they had a song which everybody loved well those who actually watched the the drama named promise and that song was actually um played on the radio and you might be thinking how the heck does she know all the, <laughs> all these groups that were played well because um during the time that these, um, you know, these songs or K-pop in general was being broadcasted on the radio, I was actually in university. And so I would just get on the car and in my university was, was like 15 to 20 minutes away. And so I would just turn on the radio and see what would come up. And uh, usually I would actually, I don't know how, but I would actually um, catch the broadcast of one of these groups and so i actually have a a daily motion um page as well in which i shared um you know the recordings of these songs being played so yeah i'm gonna leave the link in the description box below just for you guys to see you know these songs were yes um in fact 100 percent broadcasted on a local radio station back in puerto rico so yeah um, after that, you know, it was a couple of years of hearing K-pop regularly on the radio. Um, but also, we had our very first um, radio show dedicated 100% to the Holly Wave. So yeah, that was back in April um, 2013, if I'm not mistaken, the 21st of April. And this radio show was called Haru Haru Radio. And so, yeah, they were 100% dedicated to the Hollywood way they would talk about you know um, k-pop groups um, give news about you know any comebacks and whatnot they would talk about dramas as well yeah and it was super awesome um the show would go on every sunday at seven if i'm not mistaken and yeah everybody would just tune in to that um to hotter hotter radio and just enjoy you know an hour dedicated to us k-pop fans um, back home in Puerto Rico and it was really awesome 
But unfortunately, a couple of um, months, I think later or some time later, the show um, came to an end. And with it, the broadcasting of K-pop regularly on local radio stations. And so it wasn't up to this year, 2018, where K-pop started to be played regularly um, back home in Puerto Rico. And of course, I can't forget to mention that BTS's song My Drop, in collaboration with Steve Aoki and Designer, um, was played also in Puerto Rico's um, radio stations. But since the song is a collaboration with an international artist, um, and it's in English and in Korean, that didn't really, how do you say, it didn't really guarantee if K-pop would be played again on local radio stations because there were certain radio stations that before you know after k-pop stopped being um, broadcasted on the radio a lot of fans would ask for k-pop again and they would say that they weren't going to play it because it wasn't in english or it wasn't in spanish or this and that and so bts's mic drop since it has english in it it didn't really guarantee us or other fans that k-pop would be giving a chance again But the thing is that a couple of weeks ago, um, I was searching through Facebook and I heard a couple of people, um, I mean, I read a couple of people's um, posts about hearing BTS's song Euphoria on one radio station and then they heard BTS's song Fake Love on another radio station. So I was like, wait a minute, what's going on? These are two radio stations playing BTS songs that are completely you know, majority in Korean. So I was like, wait a minute, is K-pop coming back? What's going on? So yeah, so what I decided to do was just to keep reading to see if anybody else had posted anything on, you know, any of the community uh, groups or, you know, if people had uploaded videos on their Instagram or Twitter or whatnot. And since, you know, I just really wanted to know for sure if it was just not just one time, one day it was played, if it was something that was, you know, um, started to become a regular thing. So yeah, what I did was that I posted on one of my um, fan pages if people would actually help me out by sending me um, video clips of them listening to the song, of the song being broadcasted. And so people, you know, fans from back home were so nice, so cooperative with me, and they send me their videos. And yeah, it's just, it's 100% already um, confirmed that both BTS's songs, um, Euphoria and Fake Love, are being played regularly on local radio stations. And so with those videos, I was able to um, actually write a blog post about it, and I'll leave the link down below. The blog post is in, is in Spanish. I wrote a blog post in English, but my blog is currently um, unpublished. So yeah, I'm gonna leave a link to the blog post with those videos in the description box below so you guys could just watch it. Um, yeah, you don't really have to know English or Spanish. You can just click it and you'll see, you know, um, various videos of these songs being um, broadcasted on the radio. And so yeah, I was told that the radio station that's broadcasting BTS's song Euphoria is called Fresh 99.9 FM and the radio station that is broadcasting BTS's song Fake Love regularly is Hot 102.5 which is actually the radio station that was um, broadcasting um, K-pop back then in 2011 regularly. So yeah and Many of the fans are super happy. I know that a lot of fans, you know, K-pop fans in general, are happy that K-pop is giving, you know, is being given a chance once again. Um, I know a lot of armies back home in Puerto Rico are super happy that they're able to hear, you know, songs from their favorite group on the radio. And I know it's just such an awesome feeling being in your car, going somewhere, and then suddenly your favorite artist comes out on the radio and you're like, oh my God, what is this? This is so cool. And yeah, it's just super cool that not only K-pop fans are able to, you know, enjoy listening to K-pop on the radio, but we have other people who are not K-pop fans um, being, you know, exposed to K-pop as well. And maybe, who knows, they become fans um, later on. So yeah, I know many people are super happy. I'm super happy as well. And I know it has to do with BTS's popularity 
and people becoming open to their music and then from there they've become open to getting to know K-pop and whatnot. So I also, you know, understand why BTS songs are the ones to like start hopefully start the whole K-pop broadcasting regularly um you know again on local radio stations in Puerto Rico. So yeah, I just hope it becomes a regular thing. I hope that after Euphoria and Fake Love, we we get even more songs, not only of BTS, but other K-pop um, groups. So yeah, I'm just hoping for the best when it comes to more songs being broadcasted, you know, more K-pop songs being broadcasted on, you know, radio stations in Puerto Rico. And I can't forget to also mention that a lot of things that are happening, you know, with K-pop in Puerto Rico has to do with, all, obviously, you know, the support of the fans. The fans, you know, um, asking for K-pop, um, supporting things that are coming, you know, related to K-pop to the island. For example, we've already had um, two concerts this year. 24K came in the beginning of the year and Obtention came a couple of um, weeks ago. Oh, or days ago, wait a minute, when was it? Oh, it was the weekend of KCON. Um, um, Obtention had a, a concert in Puerto Rico. And then the year before it was JJCC, we also had um, BYA4 a couple years back. And the year before that was um, Boyfriend. So yeah, um, a lot of these things that are coming to Puerto Rico is because of the fans. The fans that want, you know, more things related to K-pop to come, they're supporting, they're putting, you know, in the work, not only the fandoms, you know, individually, but the whole community in general. So yeah, a lot of things, guys, as we say, a lot of things um, can be done if people unite um, as one, unite as an entire community and support, you know, something that is awesome and is good for the community. So yeah. A lot of things, you know, we're grateful for, you know, the concerts and the radio play and, you know, all the other things that have been able to come regarding um, the Hollywood wave in Puerto Rico. But also, you know, a lot of things have been um, a success because of the fans, because uh, it's not to my own horn, um, but the keep my community in Puerto Rico. Um, it's not perfect, just like any other community, but one thing we are is supportive and hardworking. Um, I know a lot of the leaders from various fandoms, and they are one of the ha most hardworking people I know. And so, yeah, I'm um, just just a shout out. I just want to give a shout out to the hardworking community, the hardworking K-pop community um, in Puerto Rico, um, a community I'm very proud to be part of that I miss a lot also. <laughs> But yeah, I'm so happy for, for everybody back on the island that, you know, K-pop is being played on the radio. Um, I'm also, you know, congratulations to armies that, you know, have the chance to listen to Euphoria and Fake Love on the radio. And hopefully, you know, soon um, this becomes something regular and not only more, K more BTS songs are played on the radio, but also um, K-pop um, songs from various um artists so yeah that's it for my audio video um hope you all enjoyed this discussion like video of sorts if you'd like um comment down below what you you know your thoughts um and feelings about this whole thing about k-pop coming back to local radio stations in puerto rico i know many of you um, many of the people who check out my videos are actually, you know, fans from Puerto Rico. So yeah, I just want to know what you guys feel about this whole entire situation. And for those of you who are not from Puerto Rico, um, tell me, have you ever heard any K-pop song being played on the radio back, you know, in your home country? Would you like for K-pop to be played on your local radio? Um, well, that's a dumb question because yeah, a lot of people would like it. <laughs> but, Okay, so let me rephrase it. Um, do you feel like that's a possibility? Is there, you know, a possibility that K-pop could be played um, um, in your country, in your state, or wherever you're from? Um, do you have any idea of maybe to be able to facilitate K-pop being played um, on the radio back where you're from? Or your overall thoughts on, you know, fans um, getting together, uniting, as one community to be able to, 
you know, get things done and have more opportunities when it comes to um, the Hollywood wave or K-pop being um, brought to their country, you know, content um, opportunities and whatnot, or, you know, whatever you like to say about this whole entire situation of K-pop being played on the radio, you're welcome to do so in the comment section below. Also, if you'd like to share my video, um, it'd be really appreciated. Um, share it on social media with your friends and family and whatnot. And also, if you'd like to stay tuned or stay updated uh, with all the new content I'll be having on my channel, you have the option to subscribe. But as always, do not feel obligated to do so. So yeah, as always, thank you very much for tuning in to another audio video here on my channel, Outspoken Artistry. And I hope to hear from you guys um, in the comment section and hope to bring a brand new audio video to the channel very soon. Oh, wait a minute. Before before I end this audio video, I forgot to tell you guys that there's actually a video out there of um, a group of us who did a reaction to the very first um, broadcasting of Big Bangs Tonight. Um, like I said, it's the first K-pop song to be broadcasted on um, Puerto Rico's a local radio station and so yeah we all like a whole group of us did our reactions to to the song being played and um i think a girl her name was Ivelis, if i'm not mistaken she's a member of the cable community in puerto rico she did like a mashup of all of our um, reactions and it's a super super funny video um i'm in it and also my mom's in it too so yeah i'm gonna link that video down in the description box so you guys could check out it's super it's super funny i mean yeah it's a bit cringy as well i guess i mean i i love it because it just reminds me of you know a time where Everything was just awesome. Everybody was getting to know each other in the community. People were finding out for the first time that they weren't alone in their love for K-pop back, you know, in Puerto Rico. So yeah, it just brings back it brings back so many awesome memories. So yeah, I'm gonna leave it. I'll leave the link to it in the description box below so you guys could check it out. Okay, so yeah, bye guys. Take care.